Yeah, pretty nice out there. We had a few extra clouds. The disturbance moved a little bit further south than first anticipated. So we had a few clouds out there this afternoon looking at Sandia Peak. They passed through the metro and we had some strong winds earlier this afternoon, but those winds will be coming down as we head into the afternoon hours. Now further to the north near the northern mountains in Taos, we did have a lot more activity, a lot more in the way of clouds and even a few showers passing from time to time. And you can see that here on the satellite and radar to the north of the metro along the northern mountains and just to the east of the northern mountains. We do have some showers. Much of this is not reaching the ground in cases. A lot of it is evaporating before it does reach the ground. So this disturbance is going to continue to push off to the east southeast as we head into the overnight hours. Now the reason not all this precipitation, the rain and the snow is not reaching the ground is because relative humidities are rather low in Tucumcari. You're in the teens a little bit higher in Las Vegas and then in, in the mountains where the precipitation is likely reaching the ground. Relative humidities are in the 30s and the 40s, so there is a chance for hit or miss showers as we head into the evening hours. Temperatures today a lot warmer than they were yesterday at this time. Upper 70s down to our south. We're sitting in the upper 60s. It's 50 degrees in Taos, 56 degrees in Las Vegas. So the clouds and that rain kept your temperatures down a little bit this afternoon. Winds today were on the breezy side and we did have gusts over 30 miles per hour in the metro. And right now we have a sustained wind of 21 miles per hour, a 16 mile per hour wind in Santa Fe. The winds will be coming down as we head into your Sunday. So it'll be a rather nice Sunday tomorrow with a lot of sunshine and recent gusts in Albuquerque of 35 miles per hour. Taking a look at the regional satellite and radar, you can see that low pressure system moving through Colorado and a lot more rain and clouds are clipping northeastern New Mexico tonight, but all this activity will be pushing off to the east, but a lot of clear skies off to our west and also down to our south. It will be a fairly nice night after these rain showers move out of the area and they'll pretty much die down as the sun sets tonight. We'll see more sunshine on your Sunday, so it's going to be nice and much warmer tomorrow. Tomorrow in the metro we will be breaking into the 70s with a lot of sunshine and lighter winds, but the winds will pick up on your Monday ahead of a backdoor cold front that will move through the area late Monday night into Tuesday. That will drop our temperatures as we head into Tuesday, but it's not going to be the drastic drop that we saw last week that you remember when temperatures only climb into the 40s for high temperatures. In southern Colorado, we'll be in the 60s today with a lot of sunshine as we head into your Sunday. Winds out of the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Then in the northwest, temperatures climbing into the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. In Farmington, you'll be in the middle 70s on your Monday, but temperatures dip back into the upper 50s as that backdoor cold front drops our temperatures by Tuesday. In the southwest, temperatures climbing into the upper 70s, lower 80s. A lot of sunshine for the week ahead. Temperatures staying rather mild in the 70s for much of the week. In the southeast, temperatures climbing into the upper 70s, lower 80s. Tomorrow winds out in the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour, so rather light for your Sunday with mostly sunny skies. And the northeast will be in the 60s and the 70s. A lot of sunshine as we start the work week. Temperatures in Las Vegas on Monday at 72 degrees, but once that backdoor cold front moves through the area, temperatures dropping back into the lower 50s. In the northern mountains, we'll be in the 60s tomorrow with a lot of sunshine. In Santa Fe, you'll make it to 65 degrees. In the east mountains, upper 60s, lower 70s. And in the metro, it'll be warmer than today, climbing into the lower 70s, mostly sunny winds out of the wet northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour, then into the upper 70s on Monday before cooling down to 70 degrees on Tuesday. All right.